Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. In this video, we'll be testing the 140 grain Sierra Match King bullet using Hodgson's H4350 powder. We will also be using the data developed from Ultimate Reloaders 10 shot load development for 6.5 Creedmoor. There's a copy of that chart shown here. The loads that we'll be shooting will be 39.3 to 40.7 grains of powder. This is the target we'll be shooting. So let's get with it and see how it goes. There's a link in the description below to where I shot this same load using a 140 grain ELD match bullet by Hornady. These are with H4350 powder. And this came from Gavin 2, uh, 10 shot development. And these are the areas where those loads flattened out. So I shot these with a 140 ELD match. This is a 140 Sierra Match King. So we're going to shoot these and compare them to the ELD match to see how these do. And depending on how they do, then we're going to start working on seating depth for these. Today I'll be shooting my Saco S26.5 Creedmoor rifle. It has a Athlon Talos 6 to 24 by 50 rifle scope, but I'll be shooting 10 5 shot groups, 50 rounds total, each one loaded at a different charge, but I'll be shooting two 5 shot groups at each powder charge. So let's get going and see how they do. I'm going to first fire three barrel warmers, and then I'll start the groups. All right, so there's 50 shots on paper. Some of these seem to group really well. So let's bring them in and take a look. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with most of these. I made an adjustment to the scope and moved a click to the right. This one's really tight. I'm going to say that's probably going to measure a half an inch. 
that's probably just over a half an inch probably a half an inch so we will take these home measure them analyze them and share the results here are my results from the range on Wednesday I was shooting Sierra Match King bullets 140 grains loaded for 6.5 Creedmoor shooting at 100 yards these were all loaded with Hodgson's H4350 powder with charges ranging from 39.3 to 40.7 grains. This is based on the Ultimate Reloader's expanded 10-shot load development for 6.5 Creedmoor using this powder and also a 140-grain ELD match bullet. And if this looks familiar, I recently did another video using these same charge weights along with that 140 grain ELD match bullet. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing the various rounds at the different charge weights trying to find a load that uh, I can develop and focus on. Once I find a load that groups well, then I will focus on that group and experiment with the seating depth. And it looks like from this last outing at the range that the Sierra Match King has outperformed Hornady and Burger both. So here, what we've done is we've loaded 10 rounds each at these charge weights, 39.3 to 40.7 grains, and we shoot two five-shot groups with each of those charge weights, and then at the bottom, we average those. So on target number one with 39.3 grains, we had an overall group size of 0.57 inches with the best four out of five being at 0.39. The second group shot at 0.91 inches with the best four out of five being at 0.46. And we'll come back and we'll look at the average on those. At 39.5 grains, we had group sizes averaging 0.91 to 0.97 inches with the best four out of five of 0.45 to 0.79. This was an excellent group at 39.9 grains of powder. We had an overall group size of 0.54 inches and the best four out of five at 0.34. And then the second group was at 0.76 inches with the best four out of five at 0.52. At 40.3 grains of powder, we had an overall group size of 0.59 inches with a best four out of five at 0.43 and a second group at 0.75 with the best four out of five at 0.35 inches. 40.7 grains of powder seemed to perform the best. Our overall group size here was 0.44 inches with the best four out of five at 0.32 and the second group shot a 0.78 with the best four out of five at 0.46. So when you average these at 39.3 grains, you average both groups. We had an extreme spread of 0.74. The best four out of five was 0.43. If you add those two numbers together and divide by two, you get a score of 0.59. At 39 and a half grains of powder, we averaged a 0.94 extreme spread with the best four out of five at 0.62 and a score of 0.78. 39.9 performed very well. We had an extreme spread of 0.65 with the best four out of five grouping at 0.43 inches. That's an average of both groups with a score of 0.54. At 40.3 grains of powder, this was an excellent performing powder. We had an average extreme spread of 0.67 with the best four out of five grouping at 0.39 and a score of 0.53. The winner of the day, however, was 40.7 grains of powder with an extreme spread of 0.61, best four out of five averaging 0.39 and a score of 0.50 inches. So it looks like this is where I want to focus my development. And also along with that, I'll show you another image of this here that's a little easier to see. 
but I'm comparing my results over the last several weeks where I've been shooting the 140 Sierra Match King, the 140 ELD Match, and the Burger 140 VLD Bullets. And here are the various charge weights that I have shot those targets at from 39.3 to 41.5 grains. So the 40.3 grains perform very well with a Sierra Match King and the average of those three groups, we shot those on July 29th, July 30th, the average of those three was 0.74. But at 40.7 grains, the average of three five-shot groups averaged 0.62 inches, so much better. And interestingly, when we were shooting the 140 ELD match at that same powder charge, 40.7, we had a group of 0.62 inches, which was identical to the average of the 140 Sierra Match Kings. We see that also shot well on a different day with a 0 0.51, uh, 0.84, and a 1.07 group size with the Hornady, which averaged 0.81 inches. And then the Burger, let's see... At the 40.7, we had a group of 0.68 inches. So this 40.7 powder charge has performed well among all three of these different bullets. The Sierra Match King seems to have the best record, though, at 0.62 inches. So we're going to work up some loads on the Sierra Match King at 40.7 grains of Hodgson's H4350 and we're going to experiment with the seating depth for that bullet and that powder load. So the takeaways from this, uh, the bullets perform similarly at different charge weights, but at the 40.7 the Sierra Match King seemed to outperform all of them. So we haven't really experimented much with these higher charge weights, although the Burger VLD did have a 0.53 group at 41.2 grains. So it performed pretty well there. And then on this group of 41 grains, it shot a 0.99 overall extreme spread, but the best four out of five on that particular group was 0.38 inches. So we know that Burger performs pretty well at those higher velocities. But for now, we're going to stick with Sierra Match King at 40.7 grains of powder. We might look at 40.6 and 40.8 to see if there's much difference there. But I think we have found, um, I think we've found our, our node here at 40.7. All right. So thanks for watching. There will be more to come. And I uh, really appreciate you watching. If you have a comment or an observation you'd like to make, please feel free to post that in the comments. I try to reply to all of those and appreciate your watching. Thanks so much. See you soon.